Hi there, today we're going to be looking at frequency distribution tables and discrete data. Frequency distribution tables display the frequency or amount of various outcomes in a sample. On the right, we have the format of a frequency table where we have the headings score, which is the given variable x, tally, frequency denoted by the letter f, as well as fx, which means the frequency multiplied by x. At the bottom of the frequency table, we have the sum of f and the sum of fx. The tables can show discrete or ranges of continuous data. On the bottom right, we can see that quantitative data can be categorized into discrete data and continuous data. Discrete data only includes whole numbers, for example, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. These are also called integers. Whilst continuous data includes any measured value, for example, 4.912. We can use frequency tables to find the mean, which can be found by dividing the sum of values by the total number of values. This can be written as the sum of fx divided by the sum of f. The sign sigma is used to denote sum. We can also find the median, which is the middle number once we put all the scores in ascending order. Lastly, we can find the mode, which is the most frequent number. Let's take a look at this example. I recorded the number of people at each table in a restaurant. The values are in this table. A. Construct a frequency distribution table. Use the headings score, tally, frequency, and frequency multiplied by score. We'll first put the scores in ascending order. The lowest score is 0 and the highest score is 6. Next, we need to tally the scores. The best way to tally the scores is to cross them off as you go. We have 2, 5, 0, 3, 2, 2, 6, 4, 5, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1, 0, 4, 3, 2, and 5. Next, we'll write the frequencies. There are two empty tables. There is one table with one person, six tables with two people, four tables with three people, two tables with four people, four tables with five people, and then one table with six people. In our last column, we multiply the frequency with the score. We'll then have two multiplied zero, which gives zero, one multiplied one, which gives one, six multiplied two, which gives 12, four multiplied three, which gives 12, two multiplied four, which gives eight, four multiplied five, which gives 20, and lastly, 1 multiplied 6, which gives 6. To do the sum of f, we need to add all the values in the frequency column. 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 gives 20. To do the sum of fx, we need to add all the values in the fx column. We will get 59. B. Find the mean. To find the mean, we want to divide the sum of fx with the sum of f. The sum of fx is 59 and the sum of f is 20. We will then get 2.95 as our mean. C. Find the median. The median is the middle number once we have put the numbers in ascending order. We have 20 numbers altogether. The median will be between the 10th and 11th number. The 10th score is 3, and the 11th score is 3. The average of 3 and 3 will give us the median. Therefore, the median is 3. D. Find the mode. The mode is the most frequent score. The most frequent score in our case is the number 2. Therefore, the mode is 2. In part E, we want to draw a bar chart to represent the data. 
On our graph, we have the number of people on each table on the x-axis and the frequency on the y-axis. Ensure that your bar chart has equally spaced gaps between all the columns, as well as a gap between the y-axis and the first column.